This meeting is being recorded. Okay, hey, welcome, Daniel. So thanks for doing this call, really appreciate this. So I would love to ask you a few questions uh, about your home search and your experience uh, so far on that. But before that, why don't you just give us a quick uh, discuss, quick uh, overview of uh, your profile and why are you kind of even working with Avasa at the moment? Uh, yeah, I, I'm Daniel. Uh, I'm currently in Hungary and I'm planning to start a job in the UK, in London soon. And uh, as you might expect, I don't have much experience in finding an apartment in London. So, so I need help. Understood. And uh, um, in terms of, you know, your home search experience so far, so before you connected with, uh, um, with our team, what had you already done and what was your experience with regards to the actual search process? Mm -hmm. Well, the best I could do is just search on Google. So uh, after a while, I found those main websites like the like Rightmove and Zoopla. But uh, a lot of times, you know, I just saw some ads. I didn't know like uh, what areas are good in the city, what are areas were not good in the city. And so I didn't know which prices are good, like, you know, which apartments were overpriced or which apartments were so cheap because it's in a really bad neighborhood, anything like that. And uh, whenever I found something that really looked good and I was like, okay, then we could totally call this place. Then uh, the second we made that decision, the ad was already gone. So that was my general experience. So, And were there a lot of such properties where the property was just gone when you called Coraline? Well, I also didn't have much time to uh, you know, look into apartments. So I, we just checked like three like this and okay. uh, they were like this. Understood, yeah. So it's, it's not unusual to get that responses. It's... Uh, um, and if I'm not wrong, those agents would have taken down your details and email addresses and all and told you that, oh, we'll come back to you with other ads. Is that what happened? I, we haven't called them in the end because you okay. know, the ad was already gone. But all right, I see. Know, okay. we, we don't even like, you know, I don't want to get an apartment without taking a look at it first. And mm -hmm. I can't take a look from here. So, Sure. Fair point. Understood. And in general, you know, after having spent some time with uh, on online and everything, um, what was your experience? Was there sufficient information out there for you um, to be able to make a decision? Yes, viewing is one specific aspect, but apart from that, was there sufficient information? Was there kind of you know enough guideline about how to rent a property when you were looking for looking at it online or talking to your friends or colleagues here? Not quite. <laughs> so apart from looking at apartments. Like I said, I didn't know which areas are good or not. Yeah. Uh, I have some family members in the UK, but they don't live in London. So mm -hmm. even that wasn't enough. So unless I have someone who knows London specifically, it's really hard to mm -hmm. find the right places. And just generally, uh, those few people that I know have their own houses or apartments. So they, they don't have much experience in how the renting market works in general and how it is right now so I, practically i didn't have anyone to ask and and i'm kind of lucky that i have some people i know in london in the uk so if i didn't even have that i, I would have just relied on google searches and like i said that uh, like i said before it wasn't very useful because uh, even if i just searched for what areas in london are not good mm -hmm. or anything like this then it was basically just an endless list of all the areas in London. So yeah, <laughs> fair point. And, and then somehow automatically we connected um, as an Avasa team and you connected together and, and we started working um, with, with you to uh, help your, with your home search. So what has been your experience so far with Avasa and uh, especially, you know, as you compare to all these kind of prior discussion or prior experience you just described to me, how has that experience gone so far for you? Well, uh, it was very positive in general. Like uh, I was in contact with Octavian. He was the person taking care of me. Or I don't know how to say it. 
and he took good care of me. <laughs> so I, I got a lot of, so first, after we talked about what is it that I would want, he immediately told me about stuff that I should know that, yeah, maybe you don't want to go over this price, but the reality is that in these areas, uh, these prices are uh, the most common prices. So maybe we can go look further or raise the price limit or anything like that. So that was already very helpful, just you know, getting some insight into what to expect. And then after we got started, uh, I kept getting uh, recommendations for apartments. Uh, so that was already like a huge time saver that I didn't need to look myself, especially because I wouldn't even have known how to look for it. Like, of course, I can set up some filters on those uh, apartment search websites, but I wouldn't even know how to filter for, uh, you know, I, I want an apartment that's close to my birthplace uh, or anything like that. So I, I got apartments that were really close to what I was looking for. Uh, and whenever I just marked something as like, oh, okay, this looks like something that I would be interested in, then they immediately called the place, uh, the site agent, I don't know what they're called. Uh, and I didn't need to know. Estate, estate agents. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they called them, started arranging viewings, and uh, I also had some viewings uh, very soon where we could check out apartments over the internet. So yeah, that's something that I just straight up wouldn't have been able to do just by myself, unless I already moved there yeah somehow like renting some kind of mm -hmm. hotel like paying for a hotel room or renting some mm -hmm. single room somewhere until i find something so that was already really helpful sure sure and you know um in in our experience when someone is moving across different countries there, there are a lot of things for them to do you know everything from organizing the paperwork for visa or wrapping up their household in, in their previous location going to the new and a lot of other things and then home search adds a lot on top of that in terms of workload um did you get a get a sense that uh, avasa was lightening your workload just uh, by taking the the pressure off from a uh, home search part of it yeah for sure so like i said uh, it was already very helpful that i didn't need to look for apartments myself not just because i wouldn't know what to look for but also when i was searching for apartments in my home country uh, before i you know, I needed to find a place for myself uh, at some point. Uh, it took like hours and hours a day just to find the right apartments, make a list, call them, all that uh, kind of search and filtering. Like that's a really big help that I don't need to do that because I just received the list of like, let's say five apartments that uh, is actually something that I might be interested in. I just check them out, make some notes and that's it. So the let's say three hours of work just went down to like 20 minutes oh wow that's amazing <laughs> uh, we should probably start tracking that more closely <laughs> in terms of how much time is being saved okay excellent and then now that you have seen you know our approach of uh, um, home search um, for for busy professionals such as yourself um, what's your sense is that is this kind of support useful for maybe other colleagues at your own farm that you're joining or other friends that you know who may be moving to the UK. Uh, could this be useful for others as well? Well, I don't know people at the firm that I'm going to be joining. I, I'm not there yet, but uh, for anyone who's uh, moving to a, a place that they don't know yet, it's definitely helpful. At least that's what I would think. Like, like I said, I, I wouldn't even know where to get started. Yeah, yeah fair point. Oh, that's very, very kind of you, uh, Daniel. Really appreciate your feedback. Um, thank you very much. I will stop the recording now.